Welcome to the showdown. I'm your host, Bethel Duran. May 27th, Saturday of Memorial Weekend, the welterweights will go at it live on the zone. Alexis Rocha from Southern California taking on Atlantic City's Anthony Young. Lex, I'm gonna start with you. How many times did you think I'm fighting Young? Yeah, second time. First time we're supposed to fight January 27th. He pulled out. Now we're here. Second time. You pulled out? I got hurt. You know, it's a part of boxing. I had uh, sparring some wild guy, headbutted me, put nine to, uh, two nines of space fractures in my nose. Very, extremely painful. I thought I could go through with it. I went to spar again, and the pain was unbearable. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm sparring somebody lesser than my opponent. So with no head gear, eight ounce gloves, I know it's going to be a lot more painful. I, don't, I mean, I wasn't able to. Come on now. How hard are you going to go when you're a week out of your fight? He pulled out on a Saturday. He pulled out on a Saturday. How are you going to go hard the last Wait, week? The Saturday before the fight? Before the fight. How are you going to go the that's last week last, hard? That's my last day. Of Why would you even consider going hard with the Wilds that's guy? My last day sparring. I didn't. I mean, I didn't. One, he was a big guy, and I knew he was sparring. First Why? off. Why would you first, go? First off, I got the fight. It's your... Four weeks notice. They called me that fight. So did I. I got, I got the same exact time frame you did. You just got out of a fight. You just fought. You've been active. I had a vacation on but right you, after that. You've been active. So you had I, a big actor. You knew about the fight already. I didn't. I didn't know I'd fight, fight anything at all. You signed the Golden Boy. They telling you when you're going to fight, when you scheduled the fight. I get off call. Look, Ryan pulled out. Four weeks notice. Ryan yeah. pulled out. It was the Ryan. I was the next one to be. They needed a main event. I was already on the card. I, I was not on the card. I was already on the card. First of all, I was on the card. They called me early morning to fight. I said, yes. I don't care who it is, where it's at. Give me five weeks, I'll prepare myself to the best I possibly can. Well, I stay in the yeah, gym. five weeks. Okay, so when they called you, did you jump at the chance? Uh, absolutely. Why? I jumped right on it. Why? Because he ain't a world beater. He's good. He's been moved right. You look at his resume, you look at my resume, who has he really been? You can't compare. How? how? Who, you fought you, Saddam Ali. Granny, he's a former he, world champion. He was champion. halfway retired already. That wasn't my fault. Bethel just they said he just come and wait. Yeah, that was, that was you bought a, You fought a show of Saddam Ali. I probably did, and I smoked him. I ain't go as you're, to, as you're I supposed to. to. Why, why? As you're supposed I, to. How am I supposed to when I was at 18-1? A man that's 50%, you want to go in there and beat him. 18-1 to one under. The 18 to 50. It don't matter. They knew that. If obviously he was make the sports bookies, they all knew that. To the 18 or one underdog. And he got smoked. Like, well, I'd be one thing if I beat him in a decision, majority decision. I smoked him. It didn't even look good. I beat him worse than Mungia did. So you're the underdog then. Yeah. You're the underdog again. Yeah. Underdog all the time. I'm always the underdog. So what are we looking for? A win. What? A win? Yeah. I look at him. I don't get me wrong. He's he's a great amateur. Very good record, 22 and one. But he's beaten everybody he's supposed to beat, except for when he was supposed to step up and win, he lost. Against Rashid Yellow. Rashid Yellow. If you're, if you're expecting expect, if if expect expect the same egg. guy that fought Rashid Yellow that night, he can't crack you're in for a world of hurts at night. He can't crack an egg. He can't crack an egg. You should be seeing that his last fight. He was Might knockout speak for themselves. Against who, though? Against name, top name, guys. Name, I fought undefeated guys. I beat them. Name me who you... Even the journeymen I fought, they came and knocked out undefeated prospects. I don't... No, and I've never heard none of them dudes. You got dudes from Mexico, Venezuela, dudes that you're supposed to be. Who have you fought Nobody back in bars? Back exactly. in bars. Back in exactly. bars. Same, same kind of people. They just on the, you just do it on the biggest stage. You have a bigger promotional company behind you. When these you lights run out, it's a whole different thing. It's I've a been bigger under stage. Lights. It's I've a big different lights. stage. I've been under them lights. That's good, man. That's good. I've been under them lights. The main event, Saturday, Alexis, you're getting to the point now where guys are calling you out, right? He's the underdog. He wants to get with you guys. He even said it. You got the promotion company. You got the broadcaster. Everything behind you. He's coming at you. Yeah, he's coming at me. I expect him to come at me. I expect everyone to come at me from here on out. I don't overlook anyone. You're a good fighter. I'll give you that. Likewise. You're a good fighter. I'll give you that. Like, everyone's always f***ing telling me, what does a win, does, what does a win with this go for Terrence Crawford? Like, everyone's always telling me that, Cr that Crawford... I don't give a f about that fight right now. My eyes and my thing right now is against Anthony Young Saturday night. As it should be, because I'm real and I'm in front of him. That's good, man. That's good. The main event, Saturday, live on the zone. The showdown was good. Hopefully, the fight delivers.